why Cloud Foundry doesn't meet the definition of platform as a service. As discussed in the earlier videos, in order for something to meet the definition of platform as a service, it has to have the three components, or layers, depending on how you want to say it, of the cloud service management layer. Business support, provisioning and configuration, portability and interoperability. Cloud Foundry is a great framework, and I have used it in numerous projects. However, it only provides this middle layer. It doesn't provide the business support or the portability and interoperability layers that are required to be a platform as a service. It's definitely not an infrastructure as a service because it's a software package. It doesn't come with infrastructure. But by itself, it does not make a platform as a service. Without the business support layer or the portability and interoperability layer, it really is just a thing. It's a great building block or you know, framework to get started with building out a platform as a service. And there are many providers who have built platforms as a service using Cloud Foundry. However, by itself, it's not a platform as a service. CloudFoundry.com is mostly a platform as a service. And a number of the people who are cloudfoundry.org resellers are very nearly platforms as a service. They may not have all of the requirements to meet them, but they're pretty close. But the software itself does not constitute a platform as a service. And this pisses a lot of people off when I say this, because they're like, oh yeah, it's a platform as a service, it does all of these things. Well. No, it, it doesn't come with a customer management interface. It doesn't come with a contract management interface. It doesn't come with inventory management. It doesn't come with you know any of the things that are required to be a complete platform as a service. And that doesn't mean that it's not a great thing. And it doesn't mean it's not cloud. You can have things that are not a platform as a service or an infrastructure as a service or a software as a service that happen to run in the cloud. They just don't meet the NIST definitions for as a service. You, know, you can be a cloud provider and not have all of those parts. And I think that's a big confusion point within the cloud community is we look at everything as being, hey, it meets the definition, it's in the cloud. Well, yeah, it's in the cloud, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's as a service. I keep coming back to the, the more or less ludicrous example of Ethernet as a service. It's very hard to imagine a world in which we'd actually be able to say that there was such a thing as Ethernet as a service. I mean, we could monitor the packets, maybe, but we'd have to have some routers and some other stuff and some packet counters. We'd have to build stuff around it in order to make it work. And it's not going to meet the definition of elastic. You know, you're not going to expand the amount of Ethernet that you have dynamically or um, I think the uh, definition of NIST says rapidly elastic, meaning that it changes size very quickly. Where Cloud Foundry excels is in some of the private cloud spaces where you don't need the business support particularly. You know, if you're working within a cloud environment and you are supporting three parts of the same organization, you probably don't need business support. And you probably don't need portability and interoperability. Interoperability. I shouldn't shoot videos so late at night. However, you probably only need the provision and configuring and the metering part, because if you're working with an internal private cloud project, you don't have to manage the customers in the same way. And so you can build private cloud on it, but it's still not platform as a service because it's private. So there you go. That's why Cloud Foundry doesn't meet the definition of platform as a service, according to the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And I'm sure that I'm going to get a lot of hate because I already got a whole bunch of hate from Twitter about this topic, but that's the definition. 
there are there are def definitions and cloudfoundry.com may come very close or possibly by the time this video is released meet the definition of platform as a service cloudfoundry.org does not meet the definition of platform as a service and there's a very distinct difference between the two but because the only difference is a .com or a .org a lot of people defend one when they mean the other and defend the other when they mean the other and it gets horribly confusing which I think was part of VM's initial idea was that by making a service that maybe meets the definition that people would get confused between what the .com does and what the .org does. So, there you have it.